Are you ready, students? Aye, aye, teacher. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, teacher. Oh. Well, this is in Hudsonville High School under the direct administration of Mr. Ben Oatwick. Eagle Eye Newscast. Charming, cute, and funny they are. Eagle, Eagle Eye Newscast. They bring you your daily news. Eagle, Eagle Eye Newscast. You sit in your second hour super happy. Eagle, Eagle Eye Newscast. Eagle Eye Newscast, Eagle Eye Newscast, Eagle Eye Newscast. Good morning, Eagles. It's Tuesday, May 10th. It's National SpongeBob Day. This is yeah. your news. Do you want to be just like us, Eagle Eye personalities, that is? If you have registered to be part of a Eagle Eye news for the next school year, then make sure you stop in Mr. V's room 122 to pick up a broadcast journalism application. Any student interested must complete the application by Friday, June 3rd. You may have signed up, but you still need to complete the process to have a chance to be standing here. An introduction to future prep programs this summer will be next week, Thursday. May 19th in room 316. The main focus of the pr presentation is to introduce I Challenge You. Through I Challenge You, students will learn to solve real business problems, explore future career interests, and improve soft skills. Sign-up sheets are available in both offices and Mrs. OG's room, room 316. <clears throat> <All right. clears throat> Do you love money? Yeah. Our guest speaker, Tuesday, May 12th, We'll be talking about careers in the financial industry, working with money, finance, and banking. Careers working with money is an expanding field that provides critical importance for all the activity in our economy. Check your student email for the sign-up form. Attention seniors, the senior breakfast will be on the day of graduation, Thursday, May 26, and you won't want to miss it. It's a big catered breakfast and tickets are on sale this week before and after school in room 205 for only $5. Because this is a catered event, the last day to buy a ticket is this Friday, May 13th, this Friday. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Jenkins or check the senior website. The Hutchinson equestrian team gives students the opportunity to ride and show horses through the Michigan Interscholastic Horsemanship Association. They are a competitive team that competes against other schools in District 16. In order to ride for the equestrian team, you must either own or lease a horse. Horses are not provided. A student who does not have a horse may still participate as a groom. Riders of all experience levels are welcome. We will have an informational meeting on Monday, May 16 at 6 o'clock p.m at the Iron Horse Ranch at 1595 Angling Road. If you have questions, contact these people. <clears throat> there should be a link. Yeah. The sixth annual Team Jared, Team Caleb Cornhole for a Cure is this Friday, May 13, at the soccer complex at Baldwin Street Middle School. It is free to play, but the deadline to sign up, your two-person team is Today, check in at 5.30 and bag fly at 6 this Friday. See Mr. Mulder or Mrs. Mulder to sign up. Also, make sure you check out the promotional video in Frozen Seminar today. Wow, Frozen Seminar today. That's great. <laughs> and here are your birthdays for National SpongeBob Day, May, May 10th. Here's Krusty Burger Lunch with Ben. Welcome to Lunch with Ben. Lunch today, pork chop head with mashed potatoes and gravy and a dinner roll. That sounds kind of good. Now here's some really easy SpongeBob trivia with John. Who's that? Who did? I'm going to ask people SpongeBob trivia. Yeah, I'll do it. <clears throat> what is the name of SpongeBob's favorite jellyfishing rod? Really? 
I don't know. Jelly stick. Jelly stick is right. No. I'm here with... Macy. Okay, Macy. What day is Annoy Squidward Day? What day is what? Annoy Squidward Day. Annoy Squidward Day. I don't know what that is. Annoy Squidward Day. Um, Wednesday. It's a date. Who is Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's arch enemy? <laughs> What's his name? It's like Ray or something like that, Mr. Cool. Oh, it's SpongeBob. Huh? I should know this, dude. Um, <laughs> is it Mr. Ray? No. I don't know. It's Man Ray. I'm here with Captain V. Sticks and Lover Boy, May 31st. Mr. V, how do you stop a sea bear? Okay. <laughs> how do you stop a sea bear, Mr. B? Mr. B? <laughs> yeah, Mr. B. How do I stop a sea bear? With a barricade. I like that. Because you just draw a circle. Now it's time for sports with the flock report. Welcome to the flock report. I'm Johnny Vanderbon. And I'm Josh Ost. Girls soccer remains unbeaten, and they have Jenison, Grand Haven, and Troy this week. They are still ranked number one in the state. Girls tennis beat both EK and Grand Haven 8-1 last week, but fell to Traverse City Central 2-6. Boys Water Polo beat Okemos, Birmingham Seaholm, East Kentwood, and Ann Arbor Pioneer last week. Last night, the Eagles put up 20 goals in an easy victory over Zeeland. Girls Water Polo won last Thursday, routing Zeeland 14-0. They have a bye for the first round of districts. Boys Volleyball took care of business, winning the Grand Haven invite over the weekend. Tomorrow night, they have their last home quad with Potter's House, South Christian, and Allendale. Both boys and girls track took down Grand Vaughn Wednesday last week. They were both up in Traverse City for the Ken Ball Invitational on Friday, where the boys took fourth out of 13 teams and the girls took fourth out of 11 teams. These teams are gearing up for the conference championship this Friday. Girls lacrosse beat Ann Arbor Pioneer last Friday. Last night, they narrowly defeated Granville 10-9. Tomorrow night, they're at Spring Lake, and Friday night, they're at West Ottawa. Boys lacrosse lost to Granville last Thursday. They're at Grand Haven tonight and at Jenison on Thursday. Boys golf took second in a solid field of teams in the FHC invite on Thursday, thanks to Aaron Huttinga shooting the fifth score tiebreaker. The Eagles took first in the TCC tee-off at Crystal Mountain Friday and Saturday, led by medalist Foster Faber, firing a 73 and a 74. Last night, they fell to the Rockford Rams in their home jamboree at Sunnybrook, taking second despite a fighting effort by Hall and Faber. Softball is using this beautiful week for some makeup games, filling up their schedule with a doubleheader at Caledonia tonight, a doubleheader at home with East Kentwood tomorrow night, and a doubleheader at Jenison on Thursday, a game at Granville Friday, and a doubleheader at Northview on Saturday. Wow. 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 Last night, baseball beat East Kentwood 15-0 in a makeup game. This week they have Caledonia starting off with a double header at their place tonight and a single game at home here at Hudsonville on Thursday. Thanks for watching the Flock Report. I'm Josh Oss. And I'm Johnny Vanderbond. We'll see you next time. Happy SpongeBob Day Hudsonville. Go blow some bubbles and catch jellyfish. Flock, Flock out. Flock out.